the Lord. The Bible goes on and talks about those that wait on the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as a eagle. What that's talking about is, and you all heard talked about it before, mount up as wings as an eagle. Don't you know that when the storm comes, the eagle doesn't run from the storm. The eagle faces the storm. And when the eagle faces the storm, he stretches out his wings and all of the thermodynamics, all of the wind, it does not drive the eagle down. It propels the eagle up. Don't you know when you face that strap, when you learn how to go fast, it is not to destroy you, but it is to lift you up with all of the majesty and all of the pomp and circumstance that God can give you. You just got to stop running and face it and know that God is going to lift you up. God is going to bring you out. You said, I made it this far. I'm not going to be well out. I made it this far. I'm not going to give in. I made it this far. I'm not going to believe the negative report. I'm not going to give in and give up. I'm going to rise up higher. And I know that God is going to bless me. I know that God is going to make a way. Shame on this devil trying to wear me out. I'm just broken in. And I'm ready to fight on and see the power of God. You got to decide. You got to recognize that the Bible tells us as Daniel... I'm going to start here. Seventh chapter of Daniel, Daniel starts interpreting dreams. In the beginning of the chapter of seventh chapter, Daniel interprets dreams, and then you, you read Shadrach and Meshach, and you read all these other things, but in the seventh chapter, it changes. In the seventh chapter, you see Daniel start having a dream. And when Daniel starts talking about a dream, one of the issues, issues here, talk about this thing called time, the changing of time. The Bible has in the Bible 58 times where the children of Israel have asked the question, how long? Sometimes we get into the middle of things and we wonder how long. How long am I going to be sick? How long is it going to be before I realize the victory? How long is it going to be before God makes a way for me? How long is it going to be that I get, amen, that I don't get my victory? And let me tell you this here. One of the tricks of the enemy, amen, from you getting your victory is offering you relief. You've got to recognize that relief is not victory. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Let me give you an example. Sometimes I think about Husbands and wives, when they have tights and they have real problems that God promised them that they're going to be able to be together and have victory and that they keep God first in their lives, they can make it. Amen. But sometimes what they look for, they look for relief rather than victory. And they look for relief by going through divorce. So they look for relief and through a separation. And they say, no, you get on over there. And I'm just going to be do me and you do you. And that's relief. And they think that relief, amen, is giving them what God has for them. But relief is never victory. You've got to recognize that sometimes, amen, people are giving up victory for relief. You've got to learn how to recognize and say, I'm getting victory over this thing, not just relief from it. You've got to know that God is able to bless your soul. God is letting you know, listen here, I heard your cry. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. I heard your cry. I've seen what you've gone through in 2013. I know you didn't think you were going to go through it all. You look back, there's victories and there's failure. But God is saying, I heard you cry. Don't y'all know that's what, amen, the writer was when he said, listen, I, I, I cried. And then he said, listen, it didn't happen. Then the angel come and said, listen, God heard your cry the very first time you cried that cry. He heard your prayer the very first time you heard that prayer. I know you went through it for one week, and it didn't seem like God heard that. I know you went through it for two weeks, didn't seem like God heard it. But the Bible says on 21st time, that's when the angel broke through and had the answer for Daniel, if you will. Amen. Because what he was saying was, I heard you, but it was the enemy that was withholding your victory. It was the enemy trying to make it seem like you couldn't 
thank you. Trying to make it seem like I have not heard you. When God is saying, I heard you, you need to hold on, not be weary in your well-doing. Hold on to your salvation. Hold on to your healing. Hold on to your joy. Hold on to your praise. Learn how to hold on because God will manifest it. Praise your way through that thing. Act like a crazy woman through that thing. What you going to do? I'm going to praise. What you going to do? I'm going to get a little dance on. What you going to do? I'm going to learn how to take positive things. I'm going to learn how to not be discouraged. Amen. The enemy has a way to make things look negative when they are really positive. Enemy try to make it seem like God don't care about you. Amen. He's trying to wear out the saint. He's trying to wear you out through one thing or another. But you want to know that if you endure hardness as a good soldier, that God is building you. God is making you. Come on now. You want to be able to know that God's not finished with you yet. God don't make no junk. He's got a blessing you, strengthening you, keeping you. Recognizing that his enemy is always using time. He's making it seem like I don't want to be a youth leader. I don't want to work with the church. I don't want to just have small things. I'll go someplace and sit down. But you want to know that God is still in the midst of your victory. But you got to put him first. Don't y'all know that? You got to put God first. Some seek relief, as I said before, rather than victory. Amen. 